with literally every single person on the planet right now charting their own wick off accumulation patterns and also literally everyone man woman small tall and even furries calling for at least a sub thirty thousand dollar bitcoin crash will it ever actually happen tensions are running high as after bitcoin fell out of its near three-week consolidation pattern yesterday the dumpiness accelerated to overdrive. But as we climb from the wreckage, bruised, beaten, and soiled, will this prove to be the climax of the Bitcoin dump? Or will Peter Sniff win once and for all? Welcome back, everyone! I am your host, Patrick Pegged, and what an absolutely insane moment in Bitcoin's history. And guys, fast forward three weeks since the crash that we saw on May 19th, Bitcoin has yet to revisit that same area. Right around 30,000 US dollars, it went a little below that on some exchanges, but for the most part, it was right about exactly at 30,000 US dollars. And today, another golden opportunity for a dump, which we are still in the midst of after, you know, currently we're in a little bit of a bounce to the upside. Another golden opportunity to bring us below 30,000, and we have not seen it yet so at this very moment still three weeks later may 19th continues to be the bottom for bitcoin's price and with literally everybody on the planet now mapping their own wick off accumulation and distribution patterns and literally everyone that i see basically every comment that i see calling for a sub 30k bitcoin when will it happen if that actually is going to and guys in a bear market if that's truly the trajectory that we're in we see massive run-ups as well within bear markets before even bigger dumps. And uh, all I can say is that over the past three weeks, basically all we've seen is just massive dumping. And we're going to be getting into that and kind of showing you exactly what I mean by that. See you guys in the new channel. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, turn on notifications. You may see me see absolutely time-sensitive alerts. And without any further ado, let's dump on in. So guys, since May 19th, a bunch of people have been saying we're in a bear market. And every day that goes by that Bitcoin does not have a strong bounce or any type of reversal, more and more people join and the same more and more people believe that we're going below 30k but i want to show you something here so in the last bear market we saw something very concrete we saw the 21 weekly moving average get breached and we saw bitcoin price not only go below the 21 but go down to the 50 week moving average and bounce very strongly not just in the last bull market but one in the one prior as well okay so we have a top here we come all the way down to the 50 week moving average and then we have a hundred percent bounce from there OK, my point of saying that is that even in bear markets, there are massive pumps along the way. And so far with what we've seen, we have seen nothing but utter dumpiness. OK, so that was uh, the bear market of 2018. If we go even back to the prior one here, we have the same exact thing. We break below the 21 weekly moving average. We come down to the 50 week moving average and we have a bounce of 100 percent. So a nice move up to the upside from 300 something, 330, all the way up to like $700. So uh, over a hundred percent bounce there. And as well, something we saw in all the previous bear markets is obviously as well, the 21 week going below the 50 week. We saw that just a few months after the top here uh, in uh, kind of like the summer of 2014. And then uh, we saw the same thing in the summer of 2018 here where we had the top and then we had the 21 cross below the weekly there. And again, more, much more bear, bearishness came after that. But guys, what are we seeing here? So, so far there are some similarities. One, we crashed below the 21 week moving average, okay? Now we're at the 50 week moving average. We're basically like right there. We're, um, we're within like $2,000 of the 50 week moving average. With that being said, if I were to take on the perspective of somebody that's been screaming this is a bear market, if you hold that belief, then naturally, if you're saying that, then you also guaranteed must also expect there's going to be a strong bounce soon. Uh, because first of all, bounces happen in bear markets all of the time. Bear markets are not just only dumpiness. If bear markets were only going down, then Bitcoin price would be zero because it needs to have bounces. Otherwise, it would not be worth anything. And as of this moment, 100% pump from this moving average would actually put us like around 60,000 US dollars. And that's if you hold the belief that we are in fact in a bear market and it's shaping up exactly like previous bear markets, okay? So uh, really the only thing that's happened so far is we've broken below the 21 week and we're now like very close to the 50 week moving average, which uh, in the previous bull markets, we substantially went below the 50 week moving average by, I mean, a lot, right? You see, this is where the 50 week is, like all the way up here around 550. Bitcoin went all the way down to 150. 
And then similarly, the 50 week is all the way up here around 8,800. Bitcoin was all the way down at like 3,000. And obviously as well, if you believe this is a bear market, then if you believe this is a bear market, then we would go much further lower than we currently are, you know, uh, potentially even to the four digit range again as an ultimate bottom, if you believe that that is exactly the trajectory that we're on, which I of course do not believe, but all of this is basically to say, this is what you're arguing. If you are arguing that Bitcoin is in a two year bear market right now, then you are arguing the case that Bitcoin is going down to essentially four digits. If it's going to be anything similar to the pullbacks we saw in previous markets, in previous cycles, because they all basically visited this same line right here. And in fact, went below here. And this is right around 15, 16,000 right now. So again, for this to be a true bear market, it would pretty much have to at least go there. So, um, you know, even substantially below 20K. But my question here is, do you think the emotions might be getting the best of some people? And do you think that some people are already getting ahead of themselves? Because guys, the only thing I've been saying for the past three weeks since May 19th is that I think we've set a bottom. And the other thing that I've been saying is these next couple of weeks, next couple of months are not going to be fun. Uh, they're going to be very painful. They're going to be boring, tedious with the sideways trading and then very jarring and emotionally testing when we get the drops, which we've gotten over the past 24, 36 hours. But keep in mind, have we broken the low yet? We actually haven't. It's been three weeks. Okay. Could we still do it? Absolutely. But I think people are getting a little ahead of themselves because we have not broken the low that we set back on May 19th. It really is that simple. Now, with that being said, I don't think this dump is over yet. Uh, I actually want to see a retest of 30,000. I want to see us come back down to this level here. I mean, on, on Gemini's chart, it's actually around 28,800 or so. Um, so technically, it's not exactly 30,000, okay? It's not exactly 30,000. I just use 30,000 as a big round even number, but it's more like 28,700. 50, 28,785 or something like that on Gemini. It's different on every exchange. But realistically, all I mean is uh, for this candle to come back down here. And if it goes lower than this candle, then that's what I mean by breaking uh, breaking that bottom set on May 19th. With all that being said, the technicals in the short term, uh, I mean, just being honest, they, <laughs> they obviously do not look good. Uh, it just looks very dumpy. Uh, but again, guys, I'm not going to be convinced of anything. And I'm going to hold my same belief until we break and set a new lower low. If in fact, we can actually come down here and concretely break and go lower than this previous candle on this chart, it's about 29,590, 29,600. Okay. So it's different again, like I just said on every single chart, but what I'm looking for again is to see this candle go lower than this candle, at which point I can say, okay, everything has collapsed and uh, it's, going, it's going to most likely take at least a year, okay? Maybe even longer before even getting back on track in any sense. But again, at the same time, guys, even if this is worst case scenario of a bear market, we need to expect bounces at some point. And we just simply have really not gotten any bounces here. Even, even the most uh, exaggerated from the very lowest point we've gone so far to the very highest, it's about a 40% pump which is still nothing compared to all of the pumps we've gotten uh, when we blow off in, in the other markets, right? We have this initial one, then we come all the way down and then we pump back up. Again, those are all like at least 100% pumps here and they bring us back above the 21 weekly. Uh, but yeah, we have not seen any actual pumps yet. To get back above the 21 weekly, right now we need to get about above uh, like 37,000, which is about $5,000 higher than we currently are. But either way, my point here is that even if this is worst case scenario, bearish, bearish mode confirmed, we're still gonna be having a bounce here very soon, or we would at least expect to have a bounce here very soon. But all we've seen really, realistically, all we've seen so far is massive dumpiness. We had the very slightest little reaction bounce, could not even get back above the 200 daily moving average, which is not even impressive, even if it would have been able to do that, but it couldn't even do that. And then, you know, after failing that, it could not even get about above the 21 daily moving average. So obviously right now, Bitcoin has absolutely no momentum in short term, it is very much in question. But again, guys, let's just keep this simple. Uh, for Bitcoin to become extremely bearish, it needs to just break that low and set a new lower low, which again, it's different on every chart, but it's roughly right underneath 30,000 US dollars. And if there's going to be a time to do it, it's going to be very soon. It's probably going to be this week. It's only Tuesday of this week. 
Uh, actually, I would venture and say it's definitely going to be this week if we're going to see this happen. And I wanted to primarily talk about the dumpiness in this video because every single video I've spent time talking about a bullish reversal pattern. Okay, just all the different ways. So I've already talked about that every single day for the past three weeks. So I just didn't want to talk about it in this video. I wanted to specifically talk about worst case scenario because also I think that's what people more likely want to hear right now. I think for the most part, uh, what people want to hear is just tell me it's bearish. Okay, in fact, I know that because if you go on Twitter, uh, most people are just saying like, I want you to tell me that this is bearish. I want you to tell me this is going to... 15,000 US dollars or 10,000. So again, I spent this video saying pretty much all bearish stuff because again, that is the bearish framing of this. And uh, yeah, if we would, if we were able to break and set a new lower low here, then uh, it makes it very much more than likely that those people are actually correct. But until we can actually set a lower low, it doesn't mean too much. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like subscribe. She's, she's absolutely time sensitive alerts. And without any further ado, that's it for me. Bye bye.